Hey guys, welcome back. Today I'm going to show you how to get started with Arduino microcontrollers for under $15. So today I'm going to do a quick video on how to get started in the Arduino microcontrollers for a cheap price. First thing to start in the Arduino 4A is you get yourself an Arduino Nano. This is an incredible all-in-one solution for the Arduino chip, breadboard friendly. As of today, you can buy one of these on eBay for $5.93 US dollars. This is my preferred method for those just entering into the hobby. It has everything on board, pretty handy little chip, and then we'll move on from there. After you've got yourself an Arduino, get yourself a breadboard. As of today, you can buy these particular model online shipped for $2 a piece. Third piece of equipment you get, the Nokia 5110 cell phone style display. This is what I found to be by far the most versatile display device for Arduino and you can learn a ton by using this and the Adafruit tutorials you can find online. They have a great library pre-built, makes this just super easy to use. Number four, jumper wires. This is an optional part of kit. You can buy, as of today, 65-piece jumper wire set, breadboard friendly, for a buck fifty-five shipped US dollars. This is an optional because the other option you can do, you can simply get some solid core wire. In this case, this is Ethernet cables designed for household use, and this works just as good. If you're on a budget, go for it. Number five e-waste. You can recycle an incredibly large amount of components from junk that normally ends up in landfill. First one here is a display board out of an old VCR. <laughs> Remember what those are. Tactile switches. These things come in lots of Arduino starter kits, but here they are. Breadboard friendly. These are the same ones you get in the Arduino starter kits. PC speaker. Works great with the Arduino. No problem. Stepper motor. This is out of a printer, a normal desktop inkjet printer. There's several of these inside them. Tactile switches, LEDs, LCD display. Lots of components to recover on board. An old router, LEDs, perfect. For the Arduino Nano, you're going to need some USB power. You can take this right from the PC or a Walwurt style adapter. Pretty sure everyone has a few of these cables kicking around, so we'll put this one in at zero dollars. So between a few components, you can set up a breadboard like this, minus this sensor, and you can start working with Arduino projects, no problem. The last part of this tutorial is Google. Google has everything you need to program almost, I'd say 90% of the projects out there, guys. If you want to build it, if you want to interface it, odds are there's a tutorial for making this work with Arduino. You just have to go searching for the specific components. You want to know about a uh, stepper motor? No problem. Link the stepper motor to the Arduino. Guaranteed there's hundreds of tutorials out there for that, guys. You want to hook up the speaker? No problem. Easy peasy. There's uh, lots of them out there. Get yourself started. Don't even bother looking at the starter kits that are 60 or $70. Just go ahead and piece together your own. That way you don't have anything to lose, guys. You can integrate these Arduinos into just about any kind of radio project, the DIY, home automation, you name it. You'll be amazed at how far you can go with it and how easy it is. Really glad you could join me today, guys. Good luck in all your electronics and other ventures. If this video helped you, please consider hitting the thumbs up button and maybe give it a share. Really appreciate it, guys. Look forward to seeing you next video.